added to a place that houses creatures big and small and has a friendly staff that encourages you to meet them all. Welcome into Soda City Living, I'm Madeline Stewart. If you're looking for a new hobby or something to learn about, there's a lot here from snakes to lizards and amphibians and so much more. So let's check it out. Joining us now is Kristen, who's gonna tell us about the big idea behind the creature room and what you offer. So thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. So tell us, you know, how this got started. You haven't been here for too, too long. Mm -hmm. April of 2023, I understand. Yes, that is right. Um, Cameron, my husband and I run the store and we met in 2019. Um, we both had a mutual love for the hobby. And then when he moved here in 2020, it just kind of grew. So uh, we started, our collection grew, but then so did our need for quality supplies and feeders for all of our animals. So we started the Creature Room in 2021 and we're doing like reptile shows and just trying to surround ourselves with other people in the hobby and you know learn everything we could and then still seeing that need we found ourselves ordering online a lot um, to try to get quality items for our animals so we just opened the store we bit the bullet and we've been here ever since and just like you used to be searching for those quality items, now you're helping the community find them. Yes. So tell us about the the response from the community and just how that's been. It has been more than we ever could have dreamed it would be. Um, we knew there was a need. Um, I don't think we could have predicted how much of a need it was in Columbia. So the, the support has been amazing. We have a little bit of everything. So we have the large lizards, snakes, um, smaller lizards, your geckos, micro geckos. We even have dart frogs and other amphibians and tarantulas and other arachnids. Yeah, so for someone who's never had a reptile before, is there anywhere that you would kind of point them to start out? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of our beginner reptiles, we recommend like bearded dragons, leopard geckos, uh, crested geckos. Um, we have a whole lot of options just depending on people's comfort level. Are there different levels of care for each animal too? Absolutely. There's definitely more beginner friendly care to much more advanced care for different things. So tell us who you've got in your hands right now. This <laughs> is one of our ball pythons. It's a spinner blast ball python. Um, been, with here, been with us here for a little while and she just, you know, they're rocks. They just kind of hang out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what kind of uh, drives people towards keeping reptiles do you think? I just think there's so much variety in it. Um, you know, it's hard to have 20 dogs or cats in your house. It's a lot of work. Not that reptiles aren't, but they can fit into a little less space. Um, and you can, they're like potato chips. Once you get one, you end up with 100. I have heard that about so many different types of animals, but reptiles, that's the first time I'm hearing yeah. it. But you're right, there is so much variety. Just looking around the store, there's a lot of different colors and a lot of different types of animals here. Um, do you have a favorite? Gosh, that's so hard to choose. Um, I think now I gear more towards the arachnids and tarantulas. They're definitely my thing. Really? Um, yeah, they're so fun. They're so fun. There's so many. Um, you can have a hundred and still not have them all. It's yeah. like catching everything you can get. <laughs> <laughs> now, there might be a misconception here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do reptiles have personalities? I think to an extent they do. Everyone's a little bit different, but a lot of it depends also on how you interact with them as a keeper um, and how you kind of create that bond. We offer pretty much every size tank that you can think of for pretty much everything, all the way down to like a small nano micro gecko type tank or something you would put like a jumping spider in, all the way up to 240 gallon arboreal tanks. It was really tough for us to find the things that we needed as we were, you know, keeping some things. And, uh, you know, a lot of the times we were going the DIY route or just having to order it online. Um, so, you know, opening the store and giving people those options like that they can see it in person and just take it home that day was, was really, inspiring for me at least. And another part of seeing things in person here is getting to hold them too. That's pretty yeah, important, right? Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of times you're either waiting for a, a reptile show to come to town or you just have to kind of point and click online and just order, you know, order off the internet. Um, you don't really know what kind of quality or what the animal's going to look like. You know, getting to, to get hands on, you'll know the personality and of course what it's going to look like right then and there. Right. And this one here, we've met <clears> this one before. Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a spinner blast ball python. She's the the pet rock of snakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't really do too much. Yeah. Um, but they do require a good amount of space. Um, a lot of people think that since they are so small that they don't need such a big enclosure, but 
they are very, very active snakes at night. So you've got all different sizes of tanks. What goes in the tanks? Uh, yeah, so we offer a wide variety of natural decor and artificial decor if you're trying to set up something simple. But we do, we try and push a lot of like the bioactive. It, it keeps things more natural for the animal and also kind of takes that, uh, that extra work out of you having to clean the, uh, the enclosure all the time where you use a cleanup crew to basically, it's a living organism that lives within the enclosure that basically cleans it for you. It also holds their environmental needs much better, so like holding humidity and temperature a lot easier. We offer um, a wide variety of feeders, um, pretty much all the way down to newborn pinky mice, all the way up to, you know, jumbo quail, jumbo rats, uh, rabbits, I mean, if you need it, we got it. Wow, and <laughs> I do want to point out too, if there's something niche that someone might need and you don't have it in the store, they can still yeah. come here and get it through you guys. Absolutely, we have uh, a lot of connections with a lot of breeders. Um, a lot of those people are very close friends of mine, so if there's something that I don't personally carry in the store, like larger monitors or larger snakes, um, definitely ask us about it because it's usually I can get it here within a day. I do suggest that you do kind of like your own research first just to kind of see what's going to work best for you. Um, we love to walk you through the options of what we can get you, but, um, but there is hundreds of species of snakes out there and uh, you know, it's, it's, it can be daunting. Yeah. So. Just exploring a new hobby is always a little bit daunting, right? Yeah, yeah. So I would, I would kind of see what works best for you and then uh, of course if it's going to work for you, it should work for the animal. Yeah, I, I like this pet rock here. Yeah, this, that's this a good is rock. my vibe. That is a, that's a good rock. <laughs> Anything else you wish people would know about snakes? Um, there's a lot of a lot of misunderstanding about snakes. I mean, this is uh, if a snake trusts you, this is pretty much all they're going to want to do. I mean, okay. you know, people think that uh, that they're just cold-blooded killers and quite frankly, I mean, they can be just as sweet as, as your puppy or your kitten. Yeah, just a little bit of a different feel. They're not so fuzzy. Yeah, and they're, <laughs> they're, uh, they're not slimy. A lot of no, people think they're yeah. slimy. They're actually, I mean, if they're, if they're warm, they're actually quite silky. Yes, and that one particularly is very yes, soft, which very is interesting. Soft. Well, for someone who comes in for the first time, what do you want them yeah. to experience and how do you want them to feel when they come in? Um, I, I definitely want them to feel welcomed. Um, we try and, you know, give everybody the same opportunity. You know, a lot of people have come in here completely scared and we have we've changed their perspective on on how they view the animals in the store. So we're we're very fortunate that we can actually like change people's minds. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, after the break, we're going to be back with some different animals and we're going to talk about the importance of breeding here at the Creature Room. We'll be right back.